What's up guys, Trevor here from Let Us Drone. Today we're gonna to be talking about Tapfly, one of DJI's intelligent flight modes. We're gonna talk about what Tapfly is, purposes for Tapfly, why you maybe wanna use that flight mode, how to enable Tapfly, some precautions you should take when in the flight mode to keep that drone coming back to you safe in one piece. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the camera view. Just as a reminder, you cannot access Tapfly until you are airborne. And we are flying in, let's see, Encinitas, Solana Beach area, Southern California. Very pretty here. Nice day. Green zone, no flight restrictions. All right, left hand side of the screen, you see the remote control. Let's tap on that. That brings up the flight or the intelligent flight modes. Tap fly, bottom left hand side. Very good. Now you see the right hand side of the screen, forward and free. We'll go ahead and start with free since that's what's selected. So I'm gonna hide the, this menu. And you see the right hand side, that little slider, that's how fast I will be traveling once I enter tap fly. So 5.6 miles an hour, we'll leave it at that. You can adjust it by dragging up or down on the little slider bar. Now you see that little horizontal line in the middle of the screen. If I tap above that line, the drone will ascend. If I tap below that line, it will descend. We'll start off by tapping above. If I hit go, if I tap it once more, there we go. The drone will now continue on this course until I direct it otherwise. Very nice. Now in free mode, I can control the yaw of the drone. So if I turn left, you see the drone is yawing left. There you are. Now I can see the ocean. Very nice. But the drone is still traveling the same way that uh, it initially was when I hit go on tap fly. So we'll go ahead and face forward here and you can see those green lines we're still going in that same direction. Very good. So this frees up your hands to control the gimbal, the camera, and the yaw, so you can get that perfect shot. Now, if I cancel tap fly, you can do so one of three ways. You can hit that little red X on the left hand, left hand side of the screen. You can tap the pause button on your remote control, or you can pull back on the pitch stick, that right stick, for three seconds, I believe. We'll try that. Yep, there we go. So that exited tap fly. Now, that is how we get that perfect dolly shot. Before I show you that dolly shot, I'm going to show you what forward mode looks like. So bottom right hand side of the screen, you see that little icon, um, I don't know why that's called, like a GPS pointer, that's not right. But there you are, forward and free. If I tap on forward and then hide this menu, and we'll tap below the horizontal line this time, just for fun. There we are, so the drone will descend because I tap below that line. Since we are now in forward mode, if I were to yaw to the left, like I previously did, instead of the drone still traveling full, uh, on that path that it was, I've now altered its heading. So look at that, now I'm flying right towards the ocean. Okay, so that's the difference between free and forward. Go ahead and go back this way. Very nice. Okay, and it's reminding me that the drone is descending. Now, on that note, obstacle avoidance. Obstacle avoidance is enabled if you are in forward mode. It's not enabled if you are in free mode, okay? Um, something to keep in mind. Also, we need to go through the settings under visual navigation settings. You have to enable obstacle avoidance in tap fly. And I'll go ahead and walk you through that. Okay, let's talk about that dolly shot. If I go ahead and go back to my starting spot. All right, so what is the dolly shot? Well, the dolly shot comes from, I think the photographers back in the day, or maybe they still use it. They put this, they have a dolly cart where they put it, their camera and they can roll it down that cart and that allows the camera to be moving 
while they get that, that shot that they're attempting to get. So if you see me here on the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to try to keep me in the frame as I ascend. So I'm going to hit tap fly, let's say, we're going to go pretty slow. Let's go four miles an hour. So if I hit up in this general direction, and if I hit go, the drone is going to go ahead and head on that path there. But if you see, I can control the gimbal and the yaw of the drone so it keeps me in the frame here. And I apologize for that lighting. You guys are probably looking right into the sun about now. All right. So if I were in a better location, it would give you a better example of uh, a good dolly shot. But essentially, you could do this without using tap fly, but it's just much more difficult as you have to work all the controls on the drone. All right, so that is tap fly. Basically, tap fly, it just enables you to focus on getting that perfect shot. It frees up your hands. So just like other intelligent flight modes, it's great to be comfortable with and familiar with. Now with obstacle avoidance, you wanna make sure that it is enabled before you take off and enter tap fly. So to do so, tap on those three little dots, right hand corner, bring up the settings menu. Second one down, you see visual navigation settings. Now make sure that enable horizontal obstacle avoidance in tap fly box is checked. All right, that's gonna keep you from running into things. Essentially, that's going to have the drone fly around an obstacle that it comes up to. If it can't fly around it, it's going to stop in place and wait for you to instruct it to do something else. Now with obstacle avoidance, I have the Phantom 4 Advanced here. So the only two sub modes that are available to me are forward and free. Some of the drones like the Phantom 4 Pro, Mavic Air, they have more sensors. So there's four different sub modes available. You can fly backward with those. Also coordinate mode where you can tap on an area of the screen. The drone will fly there and stop, wait for you to tell it to do something else. To find out what sub modes you have for your DJI drone, just go to your intelligent flight mode menu, tap on tap fly, and it's gonna display the ones that you can use, okay? So this is just a quick overview of TapFly. I hope the video helped. I wrote an in-depth blog post about it, and you can find that at letusdrone.com slash TapFly. I go into all the intricacies and parameters, all that good stuff, some precautions you should take when using TapFly. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks for watching. Take care.